morning guys hope y'all are doing well this morning today is july 19th tuesday and in our devotional this morning it says live the life that you love so let's see what god's word says because i think sometimes we get it wrong and we we think um, well, let's just get into what it says, okay? <laughs> Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. Whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 10. Hear my son and receive my sayings and the years of your life will be many. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 9. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. John chapter 10, verse 10. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Psalm chapter 16, verse 11. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasure at your right hand. Psalm chapter 146, verse 2. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18, The path of righteousness is like the morning sun shining ever brighter till the full light of day. And at the bottom it says, Do you merely breathe and survive? Or are you truly living life? Too many people are just surviving without experiencing the fullness of life that Jesus planned for them. Do you realize that you are a miracle and he came to give you the gift of life? What are you doing with this gift? Warm up your feet next to a fireplace, your hands with a hot cup of tea, and your heart with God's word. Choose life and thrive. And that is a good devotional this morning because some people think that the Lord wants us to be to be rich and they're not talking about being rich in his word or his love or his mercy. They're talking about material wealth and um, that's not what God wants was Jesus materialistic no no in fact he says um, don't live like this world does separate yourself from this world these worldly things um, <laughs> I got a question for you how many of the disciples was rich? Was Jesus himself rich? I think not. Um, be, be content with what God has blessed you with. He will make sure your needs are met. Your needs are met. And... Um, I'll use my own self as an example. Uh, I don't live in the finest of place. You know, I don't live in a mansion far from it. And actually, my husband calls it a sardine can <laughs> because it's small. However, um, we're, well, I'm content 
with our little sardine can. <laughs> I'm content with it because I have a roof over my head that I am so grateful to God for. I have a roof over my head. I have electricity. I have water. Um, I have all these things that the disciples didn't even have. So I feel I am richly blessed by God. He has provided every need. My husband, he, he's not had a, he's been on call for two years now. Two years. That's a long time to just be on call. And God, God has always provided for us. Um, you know, we, uh, we've always had food on the table. We've always had our needs met. Why not be content with what God has blessed us with? To me, we, I mean, when we go out, we, I pray every day to be a light to anyone that I come in contact with. Any person that I talk to, whether it be on Discord or to you guys or anybody that I see at the grocery store or anything, I want to be a light for him so people see him. I think that's what he means by living living life to the fullest, enjoying life, enjoying the blessings that he has given us while being a light for him. It doesn't mean that doesn't mean ask people for for money for a new jet and you already have five or uh you know I don't, I don't think it's materialistic things, you know. Um, right now, uh, as you may have seen in my community post, I've been uh, hand painting t-shirts, Christian t-shirts to sell. And if it be God's will, he will provide what I need to get the car that he has blessed me with, his car, fixed, you know. And if it's not, it's no big deal. Because the God has blessed us, you know, we've, we had two vehicles. Mine's down right now, but my husband's Jeep still runs. So, you know, it's no big deal. And if God, if it's his will, he'll bless me with getting mine fixed. It's no big deal. Be content with what you have. I could, I could easily be so upset. Oh, what am I going to do? My car's down. I, yeah, I know he has one, but if they call him out, what am I going to... That's, that's... Be content with what you have. Be thankful and blessed for what he's provided for you because like I said, he's always provided for us. Always. Always, always. You know? Before before I even got my car uh, we had a um, Explorer and it broke down but guess what his parents had two vehicles and they let us use one of theirs like I said God has always provided something until we got uh, until he got his Jeep you know and then God blessed me with a car that was given to me it was given to me you know I didn't have to go out and purchase it so that's how you know it's from God. You know it's from God when you're blessed with it. And it's... God won't put you in debt. <laughs> he won't put you in debt. But I love you guys. And I don't want to talk too much on the subject. But um, be content with what he has given you. And live life to the fullest. Giving him praises for the things that he has blessed you with. Don't, don't want. I mean, we all have, I guess we all have wants, I guess. But don't, don't be miserable because you don't have the things that you want. Because he says he'll provide our needs. Um. Be happy and content and moment. No matter what is going on in your life, live your life praising and worshiping God. 
and so you can radiate that light of him so people can see his love so they'll look at you and they'll say wow he or she look what they've been through look what they're going through and they're still praising God and thanking God and have joy in their life but yet look what they're going through that's the way we should all live that's the way we should be I don't believe I do not believe that God is talking about material wealth here on earth because scripture tells us to store up our treasures in heaven so where are you storing up your treasures here on earth or up in heaven that's your question for the day because <laughs> I do hope I'm storing mine up in heaven actually you know what it says store up your treasures in heaven but I wouldn't mind just a little corner up in heaven. Just a, a little tiny corner. I don't need wealth and riches. I feel I'm rich just knowing him. I love you guys. Have a relationship with him. Be rich in him and his word. And what he blesses you with and provides for you each and every day. Let him fill your heart with the joy of him. Because he loves you. And if you don't know him. If you don't know him. Come to him. Talk to him. Talk to him, guys. Talk to him. It's all about relationship. It's not in anything we do. It's all about a relationship with him. Talk to him. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.